right. Um, hello. What's happening? Hello, hello. Hello, dear Giza. How are you? Um, today's Thursday, and I'm holding the camera in my hand because I'm in this yellow beast of an Evo, uh, Evo 9 Zane's car. Uh, got to get it done today. I need to give it back to him by tomorrow. We just have to spray the roof of the car. We've done everything else wheels Sprayed the bumper done the engine bay Done a couple of odds and sides here and there um, So yesterday I went through to do wheel alignment uh, With the Honda and that's because Today's Thursday like I mentioned and on Sunday there is a race. It's a VW Club event but I think a lot of the people that were at the last event, the last track day that I filmed, will be there. So I want to go back there and try beat my time as if, as anybody else would want to do. Um, since then I've upgraded the rear sway bar, put poly bushes. I went from 22 mil to 24 mil sway bar and then adjustable drop links at the end. Did wheel alignment yesterday. Uh, thank you to Richard from Wheel Alignment and Shock or yes Wheel and Shock Wheel Alignment and Shock Center uh, he hooked me up with a free wheel alignment so like a sponsored wheel alignment um, anyways we played with the cambers we played with the toe we took away camber at the rear so let's see what it feels like it feels a lot more stable but um, anyways <coughs> back to the important stuff um, I serviced the car on Monday and after servicing the car I had an issue that basically drove me crazy. I didn't think I was going to make it or I didn't think I still might not make it. Uh, the oil pressure light kept switching on and would not switch off whatsoever. And I'd have to crank it 10 times, you know, start, start, start 10 times on and off. And then only would the light go off. And I found that very strange. Anyways, I thought the problem was solved. Tried driving the car and as it's supposed to engage into VTEC, it does not. It kicks in about six, seven hundred RPMs later. But it doesn't even feel like VTEC. It feels like it's crossing over, but it's like between crossing over and not crossing over. So I don't know what the problem is. I went back on Tuesday. I took off the oil filter. I cranked it to make sure there is oil pressure in the motor, which there was a shit ton. The only thing I could resort to was changing the oil filter, putting another new oil filter on and problem persisted so now it's not the oil filter or maybe it is i don't know but anyways i drove it for a while i phoned like you know murphy's law i phoned rodney uh, he's the honda guy here in johannesburg and i asked him what the problem may be and if i could drop the car off no word of a lie after phoning him i was like you know what let me just bang it i banged it got it into vtech and it worked like there was nothing ever wrong with it and since that day till now it seems to be working fine so I have no idea what the issue was but uh, anyways it's time to do track prep um, dropping the car off at the workshop the, the Evo 9 getting this thing sorted uh, I got to put my sticky tires on and do one or two little things extra before race day and uh, we're gonna take it from there see how it goes 